going. Hey, welcome everybody to our last sales enablement uh, session of 2018. And in the spirit of kind of giving and sharing, uh, I wanted to cover a topic that I think will help all of you when you try to position premium and ultimate, but it's a spirit of giving that is a two-way street. So let me jump over and share something in Chrome. And we want to make this both a discussion and interactive. So here we go. Uh, this was the issue Mark proposed at open source versus commercial. And he suggest, made the observation we have the ultimate page about why ultimate. Um, so what we've done and what I've done worked on this week is I created a why premium page. And I've also updated why ultimate. Uh, I got the little new as of this week. That's incorrect. Why premium is new as of this week. Uh, and I have an open MR for you to give feedback and for us to collaborate together. So let's just walk through this thing. And I need to update the pricing page to point to it. Today, the pricing page has a link to the Y Ultimate. Uh, y Premium, I got to change this to add that link here in a few minutes. I'll probably do it right after this call. But let's take a look at Y Ultimate. Uh, we created this page about, oh, I don't know, four or five months ago uh, in response to the need or the interest in being able to have a leaf behind that gives someone a, an overview of why, why should they buy Ultimate? Why should they consider Ultimate? And this week, I've spent some time looking at both, both creating a new Y Premium page and iterating on Y Ultimate as well to add some graphics and images to it. And I want to direct you all to that and you can take a look and follow along. My ask of all of you is this is collaborative. We want to improve these pages so that way they can be used not only on the web, but as a leave behind that you could use when you meet with customers. Either you could email it to them as a PDF or you could have it printed out and leave it on their desk after you met with them face to face. Uh, that's the goal of this and what we're trying to get to. Okay, so why Ultimate? Starts off at the top level of about what Ultimate is about and what, how Ultimate helps focusing on portfolio management, security, and compliance. And then we, we showcase a couple of things. We were showing you know, roadmaps within the visual. Uh, we show uh, the different project portfolio management capabilities with Epics. And then we highlight the features that exist and we also highlight things that are coming and this will be continuing to iterate with Victor as, as we get more input on portfolio management evolving, along with a simple value statement as to what's, what's included in that capability. Next, we follow with security as to the importance of that, showcasing the security dashboard and then ex explaining the capabilities around static application security testing, DAST, dependency scanning, container scanning, and the security dashboard. Uh, all of this comes together to help people have security. We showcase future security metrics. And then to deliver applications faster and more effectively, showcasing the operations dashboard, which we did deliver last month, along with Kubernetes monitoring and Kubernetes logs and, and improvements around operations. And then the last two bits at the bottom, one around license management, which we listed as a compliance capability along with our future for SOC 2 compliance. And then guest users and chat ops show up as an other. Honestly, I'm of the opinion I'd like to clean this up and shorten it, but at this point we haven't, and I'd welcome your feedback on that as we go through this. Uh, included the note at the bottom that ultimately includes for our business support and for business hour support and a technical account manager. And on the web, at least we have a call to action to contact sales. So that's why Ultimate it hasn't changed a lot since it was created a, a while ago. We added the, I did add the graphics this week to improve its readability to make it less of a overload of text. And I have Luke standing by to potentially turn it into a PDF when we're ready. I don't want to do it before we're ready. It's not, and, and to be clear, we're not going to have a print button on this thing to print it as a PDF dynamically. What we'll do is we'll create a PDF from this content periodically. Going on, this is the new Y Premium page. And we wanted to get to a Y Premium page because a lot of people are considering premium. And we wanted to have also a, a lead beyond to talk about the value of premium. And, and looking at it is help, helping IT organizations scale how they do DevOps delivery, supporting you know, high availability, geographic replication, progressive deployment, and lots of capabilities. So in summarizing it, you know, it starts off with developer productivity, with high availability and geo, both helping teams to be more productive regardless of where they're at. We also then move on to project planning. We make project planning better. We have, you know, when you look at backlog management, because we can have 
uh, multiple issue boards at the group level. We can start to scope and plan things at a group level more effectively with, with premium. <clears throat> It's not exactly a feature, but it's a capability that you can start to manage a backlog better because you can have issue, you can have assignees on the, on the backlog, on the issue boards, et cetera. We have milestones, boards and lists. So we can manage that as well. Again, at the group level, multiple issues, multiple issue boards at the group level really helps teams to be able to manage their projects and to manage who's working on what more effectively. We have feature flags, deploy boards, incremental deployments, canary deployments, all sorts of capabilities to, at premium to make it easier for people to deploy with confidence, to not have to deploy in a way that they're un unsure what's gonna happen, that they can leverage GitLab to deliver and deploy their applications or release them more effectively. And this, in we include Maven repository, protected environments. All of these capabilities show up with GitLab Premium, which, are val which deliver value to someone who's building and delivering applications. We make it easier to manage the development process. For example, uh, and the, the screenshot is one of the new review process where you can create a group of comments and submit basically a merge request review. We have verified committers, signed commits, and group file templates, which also help teams to establish consistent practices. And then at the end, we also have the note about four hour business support, which is a differentiator, I think, for premium as well along with contact sales to learn more about premium. I haven't created a page like this for starter. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think we should. I think we should stop at this point and encourage people to be looking at premium for ultimate. And I think these are pages for you to help sell and for you to help connect with people. And with that in mind, I'm gonna to point to the MR that's open and I will put the link to this, I'll put this link into Slack, and I'll put it into chat as well, so that way you can get to it. But I welcome your input, and I welcome your, your insight as to what's missing, what else we should add to it, what might be incorrectly stated or you don't feel comfortable with. Uh, all of those things would be useful because I want this to be something that you can use as an asset as you engage with people. And so for that, that summarizes the value of Ultimate, the value of premium, why Ultimate, why premium, where we're going with this. I'd like to, you know, we can stop the recording, we can go into discussion and Q&A.